Mike, thank you so much. Well, a power outage left patients in jeopardy at a Boyle Heights hospital. Many of them mm -hmm. were critical or in the neonatal unit. Fire crews rushed to help them quickly evacuate to other hospitals. And in the middle of it all, a pregnant woman and her baby. Our Jeff Nguyen spoke with her, and it's an interview you'll see only on KCAL News. 17 patients were moved here after the power went out at its sister hospital. One of them, a baby that was delivered by flashlights and cell phones. <coughs> Meet Jacob Phoenix Villabona Ugaldo. Mom Eileen Villabona says her 4.6 pound bundle of joy came as the power went out at White Memorial Hospital Monday night. The power first went out Sunday night during Tropical Storm Hillary. And then late Monday, the backup generators failed. I had the option to get transported. But I decided to stay because I knew my baby was already coming out. So I had to stay there. I didn't want to get delivered in the ambulance. Villa Bona says she was already in the labor and delivery room when things got really dark. It was really hard to see anything. The nurses just ended up using like their flashlights and like their phones just to kind of like help us. But Jacob arrived safely with the help from the staff. They were actually cheering me on to deliver. <laughs> Um, they were very, very helpful. Mom and Jacob were among the 17 patients that were moved from White Memorial in Boyle Heights to their sister hospital, Adventist Health in Glendale. The medical group has redundancies in place to prepare for such an emergency. We prioritized the higher security patients first and foremost. Uh, those patients that needed emergency interventions, i.e. operations or catheterization procedures, as well as intensive care uh, uh, level patients. Uh, those patients are needing ventilators. Of the 17 patients, seven were newborns that were in the NICU. Oh, Jacob's parents say he's doing well and mom is grateful to the staff for the care they've been getting. As soon as we came in, they already knew I was like um, coming in from White Memorial. They already knew that my baby's getting transported here as well. Jacob has an older sister named Audrey who helped to pick out his name. Adventist Health says all 17 patients that were moved from White Memorial are in stable condition. In Glendale, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.